Welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks in Affinity Photo and I'm going to use this tutorial by a guy named Rafi A on YouTube. If you haven't watched any of his Photoshop tutorials yet, he is absolutely amazing. So we're not going to recreate the whole thing, but we're going to recreate some of it just so I can show you how to do some of the things he's done here in Affinity Photo. Okay, so let's get started. We'll go over to our photo and some of the things that I am going to show you today is uh, how we get the girl to look like she's underwater and a couple of other things as well using the gradient tool. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and get rid of everything that I've done so far. Just delete all that so we've just got this desert background. By the way guys, all of these stock photos are from a place called DeviantArt. Okay, so we've got our desert here. The next thing we're going to do is bring in our ocean. So we're going to Command C, back over to this tab, Command V. We've got our ocean here. Just going to hold the Shift key down and just rotate this into place so it's nice and straight. Snap it into place in the corner. By the way guys, if you've got snapping turned on, it makes it a lot easier. And it's going to drag it all the way down to about here at the moment. Now, once we've done that, the next thing we want to do is on the ocean here, I want to put a mask and click on the mask because we're going to use our gradient tool. We're going to use our gradient tool to get rid of this white section here and a bit of this blue ocean all the way back to the sort of like white part or the spray of the ocean. So the way we do that, we make sure we've got our mask and we click on our mask. We're going to come over here to our gradient tool. We're going to come up here to the toolbar, make sure we're on linear. You can see it goes a little bit opaque at the moment, but don't worry about that. Let's just get the center and drag our gradient tool to about here. Come and click up here in the toolbar. We want both of these tabs here to be white. And you'll see the ocean's gone back to normal now. On this tab here, I'm going to turn the opacity all the way down to zero. You can see that's gone a little bit lighter already. Then I'm just going to take this point and just drag it back. And you can see we're getting all the way we can always use this little slider to come up as well. We just want to get it all the way back to where that sort of white wash in the ocean is. And a little bit like that. And there we go. Happy with that. We've got rid of the white and some of the ocean. So we've just got the spray here. What we're going to do now is come over here, click these, right click, and just going to rasterize this image down. I want to get this spray here all the way down here as well. So clicking on that background layer, I'm going to use my freehand selection tool here. And I'm just going to go around that spray, the white spray there and copy it. Command C to copy, Command V to paste. It'll put that on another layer. We can get rid of our marching ants up here to our move tool just going to move that down to where we want it and resize it so we've got that spray sort of all the way along resize it the best we can okay so that looks not too bad but we need to blend it in a little bit so on that background layer of the spray i'm going to put a mask on there as well I am going to come over here to my brush. I'm going to make sure that I've got my hardness on zero. The flow and the opacity can be 100%, just a nice soft brush. As you can see, I need to reset my brushes, which is just D on the keyboard. And I'm going to paint in black. And I'm just going to go over that area there and just trying to Blend it in a little bit more with that other spray. I'm just going to do it quickly so you can see we've got it blended in there. 
this image here I'm just going to click on which is the part of the ocean that we copied and pasted. I'm just going to right click on there and go merge down just to make that one one layer now because what I want to do is I actually want to move this layer a little bit further across here uh, to about there. And the next thing we want to do now is use our warp tool. Come over here to the warp tool and what we want to do here is just sort of create a bit of a wave here, give it a little bit more. So I'm just going to bring that section out, that section out as well and then just move this in a little bit just to give that like sort of a little wavy sort of look and that's not looking too bad. So the next thing we'll do is bring in the person so we can have her in the shot here and I've already masked her out of the original picture so it's just a matter of command C and command V. So we can resize and turn her around, arrange, flip horizontal and it's just a matter of resizing and positioning where you think you want her. Now mine is not going to be exactly the same as Raffier. I'm just going to, uh, I just want to show you how you actually go about doing some of the things that he's done. So okay that's not too bad, sort of in the middle you've got her here but the big question is how do we now get this half of the person under the ocean. Okay so we're going to click on here, we're going to come back again to our freehand selection tool and we're just going to pick a point where just just before the whitewash of the ocean here and we're just going to draw around her like this. There we go, so we've got our selection. Now here's where a little bit of magic happens. So we're going to go Command X to cut, Command V to paste, Command D to get rid of these March and Ants. Now it didn't look like anything happened but if you have a look now we've got a front and a back. With the back part of the girl selected here we're going to come up here to our blend modes and we're going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay. And there you go, bang. Looks like now half of the girl is underwater and half of the girl is out of the water. Okay, so we're going to make this look a little bit better. A couple of things like these water splashes. I know you can't see them very well here, but if we go Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Again, we are going to just resize this water splash. And again, we are just going to hold our shift key and rotate that so it's nice and straight and then we can position that sort of where the whitewash is. Just keep it really tight into there. And that's the first one but we're going to copy that layer again and then just bring that one out a little bit and make it a bit bigger. We've got two layers here. Just like that. So guys that's as far as I'll go with this composition. I just wanted to show you some of the little tips and tricks used especially to get the girl to show like she's underwater and also using the gradient tool to get rid of the parts of that layer that we didn't need down to the ocean. Um, obviously when you watch Rafi A's video he goes a lot further with a lot of adjustments, a lot of color adjustments, um, but I just wanted to show you the basics today. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you learned something in Affinity Photo. One other little trick before I go which is a good little tip, if you hit Z on your keyboard you turn your mouse into a plus sign and if you drag to your left it will resize the, what's on your screen and if you drag to your right it will resize. Hit Z to go back to normal. That's just a little quick tip there for you guys in Affinity Photo. 
if there's anything you would like to see in Affinity Photo, please also drop me a comment below. Make sure you go and check out Rafi A's YouTube channel. I'll also link that below. He's got some amazing composites and really great to follow along. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Till next time, I'll say be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.